Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the decal feature and create this cool new wall pattern in V-Ray for SketchUp. Let's go. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to make the walls white. So I'm going to select this wall material. Go to the acid editor. So let me select the material again. Alright, so I'm going to make this white. So I'm just going to open this and make it white. Not completely white sort of grayish in color. Now what I need to do is add the decals into my scene. So you'll find the decals in the V-Ray Objects toolbar. So you can click on decal here. And then you can simply click once. Click the second time. And then you need to click the third time, which is the projection. So I'm going to just drag out this way and click the third time. Alright, great. So now what I need to do is scale this to the edges. So I can select the decal object and press S on my keyboard to scale. And now I can select the edges and simply scale to this edge, this edge, to the ceiling. And let's see where's the, let's activate the X-ray mode to find the third point and scale this to the ground. Okay, so we place our decal object. Let's go to scene one. Now we need to add an image to this decal object. So I've downloaded two textures. One is this from shutterstock.com. And this is another image. And we're going to use one of these to create our decal effect. All right. So to start off, just go to your asset editor and click on geometries. You'll find decal here. Now click on the material and we need to add a material. So if we've not created our material, you can right click on the materials tab and click on generic. I'm going to call this decal hills and now i'm going to add a bitmap so let's click on the bitmap here and let's add our rectangular image let's go back we can leave the settings as is so we've added our image now we need to add this material to our decal object so let's go back to geometries select decal and add it from here so just scroll down and you'll find decal here Decal hills. Right. So with these settings, with the basic settings, let's run an interactive render. So I'm going to use NVIDIA and rest of the settings as is and click on render with 3D interactive. Alright, so now you can see that we've added our decal object, but it's sort of projecting itself on the other objects in the scene, like the pillows, the bed, and the curtains and so on. So we need to fix this. So let's stop the render. So that it projects only on the back wall and not on the entire models in the scene. So to do that, all you need to do is to first enter this group. I'm going to press J to toggle visibility. It's just a shortcut that I use. Or you can go to view and then click on component edit and click on hide rest of the model. So that will hide rest of the model. And now I have this wall group here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select this group and then press Ctrl X to cut that group. Then I'm going to press escape and I'm going to paste it outside the main groups. So I'm just going to go to edit and click on paste in place. So now this group is not inside any other group. So now what you need to do is select the decal object, select the wall group, and then you can right click and click on make group. So now it's one group and now this decal will only project on the wall. So let's go to scene one and click on run with V-Ray Interactive. So now you can see it's not being applied on the bed and it's only applied on the wall. You can also mix and match two decals together. So I'll show you that as well. So let's stop the render. Uh, let's add another decal. So this time I'm going to enter this group. Press J to toggle visibility or you can go to view, component and edit and click on hide rest of the model as well. So now I'm going to place another decal. So let's click on decal. Here, this icon here, and click once in the corner, and then this corner here, and then project it out. So now you can see that this decal is actually projecting in front of this first decal that we added. So this would take dominance over this. So let's see how that has an effect on the scene. So let's go back to scene one. Let's go to asset editor. So now we have decal one. So we need to add another material. So let's create another material. Rename this, cause decal pattern and let's add our image so this is the image that we're going to add 
So now let's go back to geometries, go to decal one and add that image and add that material. So go to materials, scroll down and you'll find decal pattern. All right, now let's click on scene one and click on render with Vray Interactive. All right, so now you can see that we've added a new pattern and that's sort of overlapping over the other pattern and the other pattern is not seen. So now if you want to see the previous pattern as well, which is those hills along with this pattern, what you need to do is let's stop the Vray Interactive and let's go to decal and change the z order to 2 so the higher the z order is the greater preference it takes over the previous ones so this is z order 1 which is the new one and this is z order 2 which is given for the old one so now let's run interactive render and now you would be able to see the hills as well voila all right so we fixed this as well where we have the hills seen and the pattern on top as well now I would not like to see the color of the hills, which is sort of beige in color. So I would like it to sort of fade into the wall. So let me just stop this interactive. Go back to decal one. I'm going to off this. I'm going to fix this, the first decal. So let's run an interactive render. So I'm working only on the first one now, which is the hills. I'll show it to you again. I want the hills to sort of fade into the wall, which is actually white in color. So now you can see that it's a different color. So if I run the denoiser here, let it just render for a bit. If it's taking too long to render, you can also click on region render and then place a region box along just the wall so that only the wall gets rendered and it sort of reduces the render time. So you can see this beige which is coming from the wallpaper. You need to make this completely white. So how do you do that or how do you add a mask into this decal? So let's stop this interactive render. Let's also add this to the history VFP just to do a before and after. All you need to do is let's go back to the material editor. So this is our material. We need to copy this material and go back to decal and then we need to paste it in mask. So right click, click on paste as copy. Now it's pasted as a mask, but it's not black and white. We need to make it black and white as well. So what you can do is you can go to color manipulation click on invert texture so this would invert the texture so only the white parts of the image will be seen and then what i would do is i would right click on the texture slot go to wrap in and click on color correction now from here i would reduce the saturation to minus one to make it black and white and i would increase the contrast so now the black part would not get rendered and you'll see the white wall in the scene Voila, so now it is merging with the wall, which is perfect for the scene as well. Now let me do the same for the other decal. So I'm going to stop this render. I'm going to go to decal 1. So this is the pattern. What I'll do is I will click on mask here and click on gradient this time. And I will change the preset from type U to circular. And I'll also change this to say smooth. Since I want the center only to be seen, I will switch this color swatch from right to left so that now you can see that the white parts would be seen and the blacks would get faded. And what I'll also do, just sort of drag the right to the left and keep it as exponential down. This should work fine. Yeah, this should work fine where it's sort of fading out. So let's go back. Let's switch on this decal. So we have both the decals. And now let's click on scene one. And click on render with Vray Interactive. So now you can see that our pattern is in the middle and sort of fading out. We don't see any other patterns on the wall and it sits well with the trees as well. And on final render, this is how it looks. So if I switch on the denoiser, this is how it looks. How cool is that? So I went ahead and did a final render of the scene, which looks like this. If you'd like to learn how to create renders like these, head to the complete SketchUp and V-Ray course for interior design, where I'll take you step by step in modeling and rendering with SketchUp and V-Ray. Please do like and subscribe if you found this video useful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.